I don't know. Oh, that, that exposure. Sorry, guys. Well, we are here at a strawberry field picking fresh strawberries, and we've been probably eating just as much as we're picking. I guess the rules here are that while you're picking, you get to eat as much as you want along the way, and then you just pay for what you take home. And it's actually better than grocery store prices, and it's completely fresh. It doesn't even taste like a grocery store strawberry, does it, Jayla? No. Can I do a time lapse? A time lapse of I'm what? That sounds like a lot of work and a lot of time in editing, so I'm gonna say no on that one. I'm just kidding, let's do it. Give me the camera. So we convinced Jayla that that is a lot of work, so instead she's gonna give you some fun breakdowns. So here's breakdowns with Jayla. Breakdown shots with Jayla. Are you ready for this moment? was breakdown to Jayla. Babe, I think I'm gonna be super spoiled after this. I'm not gonna be able yeah. to go back to the grocery store for strawberries. Well, did you tell them the news? I have was a fun idea. News? I have a really fun idea. I think we should do it. But I think we should see if this place is for sale and buy it ourselves. Well, we Same. already did. <laughs> then we have strawberries whenever <laughs> yeah. we want, and it's they're our own. We don't have to pay for them anymore. Exactly. Well, you can still just. We come should here find out go. if it's for sale. Let's go ask. All right, you guys. So they have our offer. It's on the table. They said they need a little bit of time to review it. Oh my gosh, we might actually own a strawberry farm. This is insane. This would be like my dream come true. I'm getting the new house with chickens where I can have chickens in the yard and we might get the strawberry okay, farm, Jayla. I understand you're all excited and stuff, but can you hold my bucket? It's too heavy. <gasps> no, you gotta work for your strawberries today, I said. Okay, I don't want any. You want them? You work for them. I already have I still bunch. have to pay for them. They're $2 a pound. I don't know if you're worth $2 a pound. I don't know if you're worth $2 a pound. <laughs> Warning, what you are about to see is very, very graphic. I don't, I'm rethinking of buying graphic. this thing. Look at all these maggot worms on there. Ugh. Oh, what I missed. Mom, you're ending so many berries lives right now. You're mine, you dead little berry. Now get in my bucket. <sighs> all right, mom, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go see dad. No, Why? you can't leave me. Why? I'm out in the middle of nowhere. You think the zombies are gonna get you? They might. They love strawberries, but more importantly, more than strawberries, they love human flesh. Well, and um, I got a lot of it. You'll be the first one. <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> well, at least I'll leave the camera with me. Okay, okay. Leave the smelly bellions here. Here you go, you can have them. All right, Jayla's leaving you guys, but you get to stay with me and pick more berries because I'm kind of addicted. Okay, so we were invited out today by the Silva family. We've hung out with them before. Uh, we did actually a really funny, like scary video with them at their house in the woods. It was funny scary is what I call it because usually our scary ones end up coming out cheesy anyways. And Ada's trying to put her phone in my back pocket right now and it's very uncomfortable. So I just wanna say a big thank you for them to inviting us. They're uh, some of our YouTuber friends. They also do family vlogging. So go head over to their channel and check out their videos. Uh, Marta Q, the dad, he, does really really funny pranks and he does a really good editing job so thumbs up for them so how many pounds of berries you got there little lady six pounds six so they're in two two dollars yeah, per pound. pound so, so I'm gonna take two, two times six. four six eight Math and twelve with Ada. there's twelve twelve dollars twelve dollars worth of strawberries that for this be, many this would be like two two one pack at Publix it would be like 30 bucks for this many strawberries at public. Yeah. All right, I don't think we can fit much more in our bucket here. They also have some fresh like veggies and stuff over at their little stand there. So I'm going to pick some stuff out for later when we grill out. We're going to grill later once we get home. Vinny and Parker, come over. You want to have the the neighbors over for the cookout? Maybe. I'll see if they make the we need We need to get bananas. We do? Yeah, okay. grilled bananas. 
<laughs> we just can't stop picking. We keep trying to leave and then we end up stopping along the way because there's so many good ones to pick. Oh, no. Good thing they give us little buckets because if we had big buckets, that would be These bad. Are big buckets. Okay, Anna, so what do we have to get to put on the grill for tonight? Bananas. Bananas? We have to get bananas? You want to grill a banana? Yes. Let's see. All right, I guess we can do that. It's your favorite. It actually is really good. It tastes kind of like banana bread. Uh -huh. yeah, are, you actually, are you grilling anything? Did you just say what I think you said? Yeah, I said it's a cute strawberry. You got a problem with it? No, I think it's cute that you think the strawberries are cute. Oh, that's okay. cute! Okay, now we got a lot of room. Ada just made more room in her bucket. I don't know if that was a good idea. <laughs> you guys, this is literally the best that you are going to get right here. They're Look at so this. delicious. And they don't even care. Like, what if Marticu lied to us, though? I know. I'm like, what if we're we trying get... to get us in trouble, I think. Yeah, I think so. so what if they over... catch us eating a strawberry and they're like, oh, they're not supposed to be doing that. I think he wants to put us in jail so then he can take over our YouTube channel. Oh. It'd be much better if he took it over anyways. Marty we found out the news, though, anyways, right? No, we haven't found out yet. Uh, yeah, we did. No, I just got a phone call. You did? Yeah. And what is it? And it's guess a yes? what? We own all these strawberries. Woo! Oh, yay! Totally. We do. All right, now you need to get yourself a tractor and whatever else it takes to farm this place because I have no idea. No, I don't. I just got off another phone call. What? That quick? I didn't yeah. even hear your phone ring. I hired 12 people to come and make sure the farm is taken 12? care of so we can sit on our butt people? and relax. Do you even know 12 people? Yeah, I do. So we get to relax and drink lemonade and sweet tea. Strawberry lemonade. Straw Ooh, Why strawberry do I, lemonade. I keep eating while I'm vlogging. You, know? you and you have some on your little something, oh. something there. So that's the good news, guys. Woo, yay! I can't believe they accepted the oh, offer. Yay! So amazing. Especially since like the offer was like, can you just give this to us for free? Yeah. That was a pretty good deal. Yeah, I mean, they said yes, but then they started laughing. <laughs> So, so yeah, we had to come up with a real offer after that. <laughs> yeah, we did, which was not accepted. <laughs> so we will not be owning a strawberry farm. For the old smelly bellions that have been around since day one, you guys all know I do not have a green thumb. So I bet you were all laughing when you heard that I might own a strawberry field because unfortunately all this beautifulness going on would be no more if I got my pretty little hands on this. That's I right. cannot grow anything but it was a fun idea she actually did grow a cactus for a long time by not attending to it and then, then the she minute started to attend to it the minute i started actually trying to take care of it and love it it died yeah it died it's dead boom gone doesn't exist it made me anymore. very sad i'm gonna plant a new one at the new house though and i'm gonna do exactly what i did before put it in the ground and never look back i just realized that i wore my brand new white chucks to strawberry picking what was i thinking Bad idea, Tara. Look at all this, you guys. Oh my goodness. Like Brussels sprouts right on the stock. I'm definitely gonna be getting some of those. These are one of my favorite vegetables. Look at the pretty cauliflower. Oh my gosh, it's like my dream come true. I'm so glad we came out here. It was quite a bit of drive, but so worth it. Rory, I thought we lost you. Was, Where did you go? I was just washing my hands. You were just washing your hands? I don't know how. Tell what's the good watermelon? Yeah? Yeah. So. Very technical stuff here, guys. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hit <laughs> What's the, the sound we need, Q? What is it supposed to sound like? Hollow sound. Let me, hollow? Yeah. What's so it supposed to sound hollow? Like this. Yeah, that's that perfect. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, that sounds good. Mommy. Yeah, this one is perfect. Mommy. Check this out, guys. Look at the size of this cabbage. It's amazing. It's about to start storming, so we are gonna say goodbye to our friends for now. Peace out, Marta Q. Hey, guys. That was so Thank nice. you so much. My pleasure. Yeah, I'm glad you guys bought the place. Me too. Yeah, right? <laughs> Pretty insane. They're so funny. You guys all Rory and Mayla don't want to leave each other. I know, they're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> they need more play dates together. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Bye. All right, guys, we just made it to Publix and we're going to go in and get some groceries. Let's go. Yeah. Whoever knew life could be so fun in the grocery store? I sure didn't. Okay, enough of that. Okay. Um, no. All right. <laughs> that was actually my normal self. Oh, sorry. Was it weird? Sorry. Was it weird? Did I offend you? A little bit. We have a nice little haul going on, you guys. And we always go overboard because we like to have the buffet. So we have like three different types of meats, all different sides. I zoomed in here. What's going on here? Oh, my goodness. In case you guys didn't know, Jayla is obsessed. These are the wrong ones. 
these ones. And she dips them in okay. sour cream, and it's so delicious. And so is her sister. I can't even talk right now. <laughs> what is happening to you? Her sister is also obsessed with these chips. And Let's see if I can get it in. What? You got something to say? No. Go. Excuse me, pretty go. little lady. Go. Got something I got to say? In case you miss, go. Teamwork. <laughs> you are not even close. All the chips are two for five right now, and I was thinking maybe we should get. That's a really good deal. So maybe we should get brave and try a new flavor. I mean, live life on the wild side, you know? Yeah. Mozzarella and marinara. Who would ever think Don't of such worry. a thing? Let's do it. Do we want that or loaded bacon and cheddar? Potato skins. Um, I'd go with this one. Decisions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dip little that in ranch. Dip that in ranch. And Your do life the happy dance. will be forever. You will be see, forever. This is why I do the I See, I can't even talk now. Because you keep ranch. cutting me off. Do the happy dance. Ranch and dance. Someone needs to go back to kindergarten. Guys, there's somebody at Publix with a taco on his head. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Gabriel. How are you? He's just the local neighborly neighborhood Publix dude. Yes, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Are you filming me in a public place? I don't appreciate that. My Excuse me, get that camera out of my face! Should be illegal! Look at these pipes! These are fabulous pipes! Get that stinking to the left! Okay. Excuse me, ma'am, no paparazzi! No paparazzi! I want to get a shot of you. That's all I want. You're back again? Get out of here. All right, you guys, be careful out there. It's a whole new world. too windy for you guys now it's time for grilling secrets with the master chef Tara Black whoa what? something's happening put him in the cage. no you can't put him in Murray's cage I'm not putting oh no. no 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 you can't have Murray meet the other lizard Murray might eat him no, I'm I don't know oh, oh no Murray. Murray just caught a lizard and uh, Roy was trying to see if they would be friends yeah, probably he's not fine. a good idea, babe. Oh, he's fine. Yeah. That was so sweet, but I don't know enough about bearded dragons to know whether or not they'll eat the lizard. Comment down below if they would eat the lizard, because Rory wants to know if they could be friends. Right, Ro? Do you think they can? Yeah? I think so, too, but maybe we should try later, so that way we don't have a lizard that gets eaten. Because uh, that's a girl missing a boy, so no, not by any. Diesel, what do you have to say about yourself? That's what I thought. You're such a nice, puppy, cutie, lovey-dovey buddy. You've been so good lately. And now back to cooking with Tara. Hello, ma'am. I heard you have some grilling secrets you'd like to share. First tip of the day. If you can find these lovely beauties at your local supermarket, pick them up. Saves ton of time. Tip number two. When you're making your hamburgers, you put a little thumb hole right in the middle, and then they won't get that weird shape where they're really thick in the middle and thin on the edges. That's the way Diesel likes his cheeseburger. Tip number three. Oh, they're, they're interrupting me. Go and see. No, keep, we're, we're just gonna keep. No, no, we're gonna keep going. We don't. Oh, I only okay. have two more tips. All right, okay, two more tip tips. number. What am I on? Three. Comment down below if you'd like to see that. Tip number three. Steak. A good steak only needs salt and pepper. Last and final tip. I don't even tell my bestest of friends this one, so you guys should feel pretty lucky. The secret to any chicken on the grill is mustard. You coat them in mustard, put your favorite seasoning, and BAM! You got the most juicy chicken wings ever. Chicken wings, uh, uh, do the chicken wing dance. Chicken wing dance, oh yeah, buck it out, buck it out. Buck, buck it out, what does that like, mean? Buck, 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 like a chicken? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like that song? Nah, yeah, well, not my cup of tea. Well, once you're on my level, which is next level stuff, then maybe you'll, you'll have that. Maybe. But for now, you're just 
a level below me. He wishes. I do wish that, guys. Actually, Tara's ahead of me on um, her Instagram at oh, Smelly Belly Mom by about 32,000 followers. Oh, yes. So if you could go ahead and support the at Smelly Belly Dad on and Instagram. We'd really appreciate it, guys. We're having guys. a little family competition. Tara's guys. Friendly beating family us. competition. Tara's beating me. So go over to my latest post and say, Smelly Belly Dad, I'm here to support you. I knew that for Ada, too. She's a little low, too. All right? Here. Uh oh, here comes Jayla asking for followers. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, like she's like, mm, whatever. I just want to show mom this musical clip. Okay. Follow Jayla, too. JJ underscore official. And Smelly Belly TV Musical.ly. And they'll all pop up on the screen because our fabulous editor is going to make sure that he spells all the Instagram accounts correctly. Yes, he is. That's right, he is. They're Thanks, right editor. Here. Thank, Boom. thank you, fabulous editor. Thank you. Okay. I got 21 problems, but I don't want. It's not going to be done that soon, dude. You got to let it this go. This is slow. terrifying. I know. Ada's grilling a banana on the grill. No, look, I'm doing all the things. Oh, she's got them on the searing station. Bananas on the searing station. It's actually really tasty. No bananas rule. Chef Ada got her banana all done. Oh my goodness, you guys. You have to try this. It looks weird. It seems like a weird thing, but once you taste it, you'll be addicted, right, Ada? Every time you grill, she makes these things. Every time. They're so good. They taste like a banana bread, <laughs> but a lot healthier. We are gonna have our dinner right now because we're all starving. Rory had to go up to bed, and you guys will get our morning routine, and like it's gonna happen right now. So here we go. Rory, who made you those Cheerios this Jayla. morning? That was nice. I see you have all your animals that you go everywhere with. Yeah. Do you love them? Yeah. Krabby Diesel here in the morning, sitting next to Krabby Jayla. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Diesel. You. Oh my goodness, dude. You. Diesel, so calm down. Good morning, Angel. How are you, buddy? Him and Pasquale have been getting along this morning, you guys. Usually, Pasquale does not like Enzo at all. And you can see the minute Diesel comes around, he leaves. He's not about that Diesel life. Data Bear says she's not feeling well this morning. What's going on? My nose is stuffy and runny. Your nose is stuffy and runny? And my throat hurts. Alright, let's see if I have anything in my arsenal of goodies here. I have this one, but all the kids hate the flavor, so she's probably not going to do that. Oh, this is perfect. You want some Cheerios, Pasquale? Get out of there, dude. <laughs> we also have these handy-dandy throat drops that she could bring to school. Will you do the honors of showing us what you packed for lunch? She's already laughing about it. <laughs> I packed a banana. Okay. An orange. <laughs> and a fruit box. That's your lunch. Yeah. Very box. interesting. That's it. Lots of fruit going on here. I guess it is a healthy lunch. Mm -hmm. And Jayla prefers to go old school with a paper bag. Can you give us your reasoning for this? Um, so I don't have to carry around a lunch box. I'm worried about losing it because I just throw this one away. Good idea. <laughs> are you all ready for school? Yeah. Who okay. are you going to bring with today? She's always allowed one animal to bring along, and I'm excited to see who's gonna be the lucky winner today. Who is it? Can it be me, Rory? Can you bring me? Dad can't um, fit in your cubby, though. Can I fit in your cubby? You could bring me along for school. Um, <laughs> you can't. No, um, you bring your, your animal. Which one? I don't like that. All right, so this is Rory's lunch, and she likes to bring a paper bag as well, because once she saw Jayla do it, she just had to follow along, and I'm excited to see what Jesse packed her. What's in there? I can't see it. I see a juice box. What else? Oh, I feel something cold in there. Oh, strawberries. Our fresh strawberries from strawberry picking. In my mouth. Pasquale, you are lactose intolerant. Or at least that's what I've heard. You're not supposed to drink milk. <laughs> Naughty kitty. Are you ready to have a great day today? Yeah. Yay. Say our morning routine has been going very well. It's, it's leaked into our afternoon routine now. It's afternoon. It's afternoon. <laughs> 
It was pouring so hard this morning. It was so tough for all of us to get out of bed because rainy days are just so much fun to sleep in and snuggle. Yes, they are. But we couldn't, it's Monday. We couldn't snuggle on a Monday. I had to drive the girls into school. They usually walk. It was pouring down, oh my goodness. Rory got in a little bit late, but it's all good. We got moving in our day. Jesse and I made it into the gym. Yep, and we didn't do a ton of weightlifting today, but at least we got on that treadmill. We did a good cardio. Usually I like to lift, but we got into the gym a little bit late, so we don't have time. And we're on our way now to get my favorite snack. It's a Cajun food that I absolutely love. It comes from South Louisiana, but and they nobody... sell it here in Florida. Oh, sorry, I cut you off. It's okay. Sorry, baby. Nobody actually knows how to pronounce no, this thing. No, you don't. Okay. This is only in, in Cajun Southern, country. Southern Louisiana, Cajun country. We have our own language down there, okay? I call it Buddha. It's not Buddha. It's not Buddha. It's Buddha. It's Buddha. It's Buddha. Buddha. You gotta get you gotta get the nasals working on that one. <laughs> Guys, it took me a long time to finally understand Tara's family. Oh my Very gosh. And when time. Jesse and I first met, I still had a pretty heavy accent. I had just moved away from home. I moved away from home when I was 18 to join the military and I was in the Air Force for a while. And um, I lost my accent over time, especially living up in Minnesota. In Minnesota I for sure Force. lost it. Yeah. But when I go back home, it comes out every now and then. And Jesse used to think I was like faking it when I would go home to visit. Yeah, because she lost her accent. But then it would come back when it's I visit. It's almost a whole nother language there. It really is. It, it's like it's a whole, well, they call it a dialect. It's a dialect. a dialect. Yes, that's what you would call it. And it's very, it's very pretty sounding, and I, I like, I enjoy, I thoroughly enjoy. It. I like the accent. I always like love it it's when I go cute. back home to hear everybody down there and to see the culture. I'm hoping we can get out there this summer. I always that's liked, the plan. I always liked hearing that southern, southernness in Tara. But it's not a twang. It's not like a hey y'all. No, it's not a twang. It's different. It's kind of like. If you guys want to hear the true original Cajun accent, then you'll just have to come to Louisiana with us this summer. Yeah. So make sure you're subscribed and your notification you bell is turned a, I'll on. Give you guys a hint. So Do you like how I just did that, real, like oh, that? Yeah. That was so natural, yeah. wasn't it? It was. Shat, Turn your notification. Shat to toot. Turn your notification. <laughs> all my shat to toots out there. That's like a popular saying down there. All my shat to toots. If you want to come to Louisiana with us this summer. Turn the bell on and subscribe to the That's, channel. Maybe they should be called Shatta Toots now. Should we change you guys from Smelly Bellions to Shatta Toots? I think we should. I don't know. Only if you guys know how to spell it. Toot T A dash T U T. That's how you spell it. <laughs> See, I'm serious. It's a real thing. <laughs> I didn't know how to spell that even. <laughs> so this new house that we're moving to, Tara was talking about doing like a boil where we have a little bit of everything. We got shrimp cocktail. We got uh. Crawfish, all the goodies, right? And she says, let's just have it catered. I'm like, are you kidding me? We're moving into a house that has three kitchen. ovens, an amazing outdoor kitchen, and you want to get the party catered. We'll have, we'll have chefs come and do it for us then. Yeah, no. I'm cooking it. Show them the boudin. You want to see the boudin? Here it is. We got four packages, you guys. We're crazy. Oh, that's because everybody loves it. This is what it looks like. It's like a pork and rice sausage. It's so delicious, and I'm glad they had regular this time, not the hot. It comes from New Iberia, Louisiana, which is my hometown, so I know it's gonna be good. It does come from New Iberia. I think Grammy Sherry made this one right here. Grammy Sherry might have made that, huh? Say, Grammy Sherry made that, and Papa. <laughs> is there a puppy in my car? Huh? Is there? Mm -hmm. Did you have a great day at school? Yeah. What was your about calling a little? Coloring the moon? A real moon. A real moon? All right, can you end the video? Can you end the video, silly girl? No? You don't want to? Okay, I'll do it then. I'll do it. She changed her mind. All right, let's end the video. In Rory's voice, not Puppy's voice. Come on. <laughs> That's all, it's all done. No, it's not. Nobody understands that language. Um, thank you guys for watching. Bye. And thank you for subscribing. And one more. Eat your pizza.